get to that, of course, we got to take a look at the 48 pieces. Distractions while doing the stuff that I don't enjoy doing. Then depending on the lighting, it almost looks black on this side, but then you come around to the front end. That is so gorgeous. I love how the stripes match on the two cars. So this... Can you tell there's a surf competition going on? Okay. Ooh. Welcome to day 10, guys. It's uh, already like 12. We chilled on the couch, watched some, uh, watched some Survivor, and now we're at it. And today I'm gonna do the weight training too, because it's been two days, I'm not sore anymore. Time to get sore. And for cardio, we're doing the North Shore Pill Box, which I think is a great hike. And you're up in like 25 minutes, lots of elevation. And you can hear the big waves to my left. It's a pretty place to be. We're doing it with our friend Alex and Cassie as well. And uh, yeah, it will take the day as it goes. Time to keep climbing. Honestly, this is such a great morning hike or if you're not feeling like you're dying, look at my hand. It breaks the sweat. Look at that glow. Really breaks the sweat. 25 minutes. 30, 35 if you're chilling. And it's like, if I ever feel like, you know what, I don't want to jog. I don't want to cycle. I don't want to beach walk. I don't want to do any of that. Well, this is always a great option. You can... Pop your headphones in, listen to some music, listen to some podcast. Just enjoy the sounds of the ocean and the trees and the birds and this tropical climate we're in. And you always have a good fucking time. Um, almost again, no excuses. I mean, I'm sitting here on day 10 saying no excuses. I know it's too early on, but I'm feeling fucking great. I lost even more weight. I think I'm going to drop constantly because I'm eating so good. I'm not overeating, intermittent fasting, exercising every day, and in tandem, the business is moving forward as well. So I can't ask for anything more. Another day of me feeling grateful. So, because we got such a busy week ahead too. This is gonna be interesting with me flying back between LA and Hawaii to find that balance, intermittent fast, you know, be good, all of that stuff. It's gonna be interesting. I'm excited to see how it goes. So remember, two days ago, uh, I was telling you guys that something happened that was really not the best news. It was actually one of the worst things that could have happened. But I also mentioned that my gut feeling was telling me that it was 100% gonna work out. And the funniest thing is too, that you know, it's very unlikely that it was actually gonna work out, but in the end, um, I found out this morning that, yeah, exactly what I was thinking it ended up happening. Look, don't get me wrong, I had to act very quickly. I had to, you know, think very, very carefully how to deal with a situation like that because simply I've never actually had to deal with something like that before. But I think I made the right decisions and because of that, I think it ended up working and also, literally me just believing that it was actually gonna end up working out or not so that honestly could have completely turned everything upside down all the expansion stuff like that we would have had to scramble pretty pretty bad but in the end literally i found out two days later that the entire situation has been fixed and we are actually yeah we're definitely gonna be okay not only we're we gonna be okay it's like we're gonna be thriving from this because now i also gained the experience of what it means to deal with a situation like that right so it's uh honestly again perfect uh, perfect scenario all right we picked up one of my favorite meals out here on the north shore bonsai balls and we came to watch the surf competition which is maybe ending soon i has been going on since this morning so we got a few guys going in right now Heading back to the beach we were at yesterday because we loved it so much. Vlogging, crossing the road, I don't know how smart that is. And maybe we'll jump in. It's 
really a good spot here if you keep walking a little bit you have this entire beach to yourself which is pretty nice plus i was sitting at 7500 steps i want to make sure i get that 10,000 because oh watch out man of war here i can show you guys this it's a man of war jellyfish that thing hurts if it gets you only one yeah but anyway I want to make sure I get 10,000. I've been on track to starting this vlog with everything and steps. I'm not going to do another thing. I still got to do my weight training workout as well. So that's also happening. Not giving up on absolutely anything. And I got to book my flights to LA. Woo! So much going on. Back up from watching the sunset. It's so I, I almost forget how quiet like our neighborhood is. Anyway, I told you guys I would end up getting on the weightlifting machine. Cassie just cooking up dinner. The dogs are playing outside. I'm gonna do the machine. Then I'm gonna watch some survivor, have dinner, and tomorrow and just the rest of the week is gonna be quiet. What are you doing? No digging. She's got the energy. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go. Mercy, go get her. Yeah. Um, but uh, I'm excited for tomorrow. Brand new Hawaii client. Big shoot. And uh, I've got a hair appointment and a few other many things. Plus keeping healthy and eating and I'm just a little tired. It's been a very, very fun day. But it uh, feels a little long, so... Ready to wind down. Alright, see you guys on day 11. <laughs>